So I'm here at Tumaguete Divers in Darwin on Negros Island in the Philippines and it's Monday morning and that means it's only about three days after Typhoon Odette swept through this part of the Philippines and our plan for today is to check out the reef see what kind of damage or if there was any damage to the reef from the typhoon but first things first so in this part of the Philippines uh, in our area power running water have been restored there have been casualties but other areas of the Philippines have been hit much more catastrophically and uh, they need help rebuilding so if you have the chance to contribute to that through a reputable NGO uh, please do so now Two things I would like to say. We are not doing a systematic scientific survey today. We're taking an informal look. We're not doing transects or fish visual counts. Uh, we are looking at this reef. However, my dive buddy Matt here and I, we've both dived this reef a few hundred times. So we know the reef, we will notice if there's damage and we will look for signs of obvious damage and we will report that. We will start relatively deep at about 20 meters and work our way up to the shallows and see if the typhoon has done damage. One more thing is that uh, these uh, reefs have been damaged by typhoons um, for you know aeons of course and um, reefs will recover. However, there is very good evidence that uh, these storms will become more severe. The motorcycle passing by, the storms will become more severe and more frequent with man made global warming. So, can we say that this typhoon or debt was a result of global warming? No, because what I just said about the frequency is, of course, a statistical statement. But we will probably have to deal with more of these storms in the future, and an event like this should be a wake up call to take climate policy more seriously. So this is actually quite amazing. This looks like a picture perfect day. Um, three days after a major typhoon, category four. Uh, you know, again, many people are still rebuilding their homes and uh, will be occupied with that for months to come. But here it looks like a perfect beach day. So let's check out how things look underwater. We observed a number of effects of the recent Typhoon Odette onto this reef. Up to a depth of about 23 meters, and this is where the reef ends here and transitions into a sandy area, we found a thick layer of silt on the corals. The silt was unlike the sand of the beaches and of the underwater slopes of Darwin. It was much finer. It was much more akin to the sands on the roads of Negros Island. We also found a significant amount of plant material, especially in the shallows. We also found quite a few staghorn corals destroyed from about 10 meters to shallow. Some of the individually growing staghorn corals were broken off, some of the table corals were toppled over. Interestingly, Sometimes areas of destroyed staghorn corals were located right next to areas where they were intact. Generally, the massive and semi-massive corals were completely intact, even in only about two meters of water. The fish life seemed very rich, and if anything, there were more fish in the water than normally. It seemed that the sediment had fertilized the water and a lot of planktotrophic fish were taking advantage of the possibly blooming plankton. I'm speculating here, but that's definitely the impression I got. The great masses of damselfish, which normally live in Darwin, were still there. I'm sure this reef will recover. Nevertheless, the effect of this typhoon was significant.
What do you think? So we went and did some boring sciencey stuff and the sciencey stuff that we did determined that in the shallow there's a lot of broken corals like the staghorn corals took a real beating and the tabletops a lot of them are flipped right over and we also went deeper and did some more sciencey stuff and so one of the sciencey things I did was I stuck my finger where did you stick your finger? I stuck my finger in the silt, and the silt is about four or five centimeters deep. At 25 meters? At about, yeah, 20, 20 plus meters. So in the shallows, there's not as much silt. There's still lots of silt, but in the, in the depth, because there's more stuff settling down. I think we found at, what, about four or five, or maybe it was about seven meters. The silt in the water got really, really thick and it got really hard to see each other. Correct, yeah, seven meters. So yeah, at about seven meters we did some science where we looked at each other and we couldn't see each other as well. Totally scientific. Totally scientific. So I would say we had a real success doing science today. Yeah, science is awesome.